You ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, what what a ball game! Uh, unbelievable uh, ball game. Really, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a great effort by both teams. Uh, shame somebody had to lose that. I mean, I thought NC State uh, played a heck of a ball game, especially the first half. I mean, we we really they they kicked our butt in the first half. We we were on our heels. I think they only punted one time. Um, but uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough, hard fall game. This is a an incredibly uh, experienced and veteran-led team that we were going to play here at home, and uh, but just really proud of our team. Uh, I thought our guys—we got a—we got a really young team, and I, I thought they grew, a lot of guys grew up tonight. Um, and uh, just an unbelievable experience uh, for our group. Uh, Championship-type football, you know, where you got to make critical plays in critical situations, and, and we were able to do that. Whether it was a fourth and five punt return, you know, covering kicks. Uh, there were just a lot of critical plays. Uh, we won the turnover margin. Uh, so just really proud of the perseverance of our guys, especially how we played in the third quarter. Uh, got control of the ball game. But give them credit. I mean, they just you know, they made some plays. That quarterback is, wow. I mean, he's, he is a heck of a player. Uh, if you gave him any grass at all, any space at all, you know, he was taking it. And, uh, but, uh, you know, fortunate to win the game, uh, but again, we, we got done what we came up here to do, and that was just to somehow find a way to win and stay on track. Uh, no chance to win the division if we didn't win up here. So uh, we got that done, but we, we still got a, a tough road. We got one more conference game at home, and, and uh, you know, we all know what uh, Florida State uh, games are like, uh, but looking forward to the challenge. But again, hats off to our team, uh, you know, Feaster. Uh, you know, longest run around here since 1993. Uh, I thought number nine had some really strong runs. We really got the running game going. Kelly Bryant was outstanding, but you know, we missed some plays too. I mean, we had some some touchdown opportunities where we just didn't connect, uh, but we kept battling, hung in there. Dion, I think, had a career high in receptions. Um, Mylan had a big play for us. Uh, really happy for Ron Carter on his birthday uh, to. To have three pass breakups and an interception, and good to see Kayvon make two big plays down the stretch. Uh, so just a, a hard-fought ball game, and, and uh, you know, proud of our special teams uh, and you know our coverage. You know, I know we had a couple bad kicks on kickoff, but our coverage, punt coverage, uh, our uh, will punting the ball well. Uh, so just a, a hard-fought game, and one we're uh, glad to get. Coach, uh, I don't think Hunter Renfro has a touchdown catch this season, but boy, that second effort that, that he had on the on the big third down uh, conversion just kind of sums it up for him. Yeah, he had a big third down, and we went to him on fourth and five. You know, that was that was just uh, I just you know the one thing that I challenged our coaches and the, and the thing I told our team last night was was the, the one thing I promise you guys we are not going to walk out of that field and not put the ball in their hands. You know, the game's about the players, and uh, you know I, I wanted to make sure that we gave our players the opportunity to win the game. And uh, let's attack, let's play aggressive, um, and, and let's put the ball in their hands, you know? And that's, I'm really proud of our coaches because I thought, I thought offensively especially, they did that. Uh, again, we missed some plays, but that fourth and five was just another example of, you know what, we're gonna, I wasn't gonna take a kick. I mean, we're gonna, we're, we don't, we don't we're, gonna, we're gonna try to go get it. And, uh, Renfro is as good as it gets. We missed him earlier on a, on a third down. You know, we missed the touchdown throw, uh, and then the very next play we missed the third down throw to Renfro. Um, so we just were a little off on a couple of them, but that was huge. That was a huge, huge play, um, a big shot in momentum for us. Yeah, though, how been about so close? Uh, Who's that? Ray Ray. Yeah. He's been so close a few times, and then to see him break one. Uh, yep, that's why we didn't fire him. <laughs> you know, that's why we hung in there with him. Uh, I wanted to fire him many times uh, over the last year or so, but he, he grew up and he's just matured and he's a special talent, man. You know, I'd have put him in 21 a long time ago if I'd known he was going to turn into Dion. you know. Uh, <laughs> first time, I mean, played corner, played receiver, had the punt return, uh, but uh, really proud of him. I mean, and proud of those guys that hold up. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of guys out there getting the job done for him, but we've created a lot of confidence. And we got a little bit of swagger, you know, on our on our return team right now, and our kick return. I think we're close there, uh, but you know, we just keep pounding. But that was one of the things we talked about last night: was somebody 
be the spark in special teams. And um, what a huge play uh, by Ray Ray and all those guys covering people up. And so a uh, huge momentum play in the game. Tabo, how about the defense overall and then yeah. the last drive particularly? Well, what did well you see there? In the second half, you know, they set the tempo for us in the third quarter. I mean, it was punt, punt, punt. I think it was four punts in a row. And then we had the terrible kickoff, and they got the ball at 35, and that was the, they got a score there. Uh, had bad field position, but you know um, the the last drive was tough. I mean, they made some, they made a couple of big plays, and uh, you know, again, they're just a, a very good offense, a very well coached group, and played with a ton of heart. I mean, it was just it was just two teams fighting, and, and both wanted it. Uh, we just made one more play than they did. Give them a lot of credit. I mean, I, I guess they had, I didn't see the penalty. I guess there was a motion, uh, uh, motion or something, a uh, illegal formation or something there at the end. But uh, I mean, that's a tough break. And, uh, you know, those are, those are, those are critical type of, of plays. And I mean, we've been on both sides of that, you know. I mean, uh, heck, we score uh, and we get a chop block back away from it. And those are things that can really affect a ball game. Uh, but uh, I think we were over, able to come back and overcome that. But you don't, not always can you. You know, we had an opportunity to make a play earlier in the game with Dion, and he didn't make it. And then we end up um, uh, not getting any points there. Uh, so, you know, we had a third and one uh, that we didn't make. Really disappointed with that. Uh, but all in all, you know, we, 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 they had the clock against them. They had to use all their timeouts. And, you know, we got our defense out there. And, we were able to hold. Coach, you mentioned Ray Ray playing corner. Um, you were without Mark Fields and Marcus Edmond yeah. tonight. At, at what point this week did you decide you were going to give him the try at corner? Well, we've worked him at corner all year. Uh, but really, last week, we kind of ramped it up a little bit more um, just because we just we just got a need there. And, uh, you know, Kayvon can go over and play corner, but we really have liked him at safety and making sure we've got, you know, especially Muse. You know, Muse got hurt, so we were trying to just make sure we, we – you know, gave herself the best chance, and you know, I hate Trap gave up that one because I'm gonna tell you, Trap, tra it was, a, it was, a, that was a bad play by him. I mean, he just poor technique, played bad. But let me tell you, Trap, Trap can play, and uh, you know, he'll grow from that. And he hadn't been in much, had had many moments like that. But I'm a huge fan of Lemire, and uh, again, that's a tough play, and one, you know, third and ten or whatever it was, and and they get that's just he's got a, he got exposed there, but. He'll learn from it. He'll grow from it. He'll get better. And then number eight, you know, AJ is every time he gets a rep, I, I like watching him play. Uh, he's going to be a great player. Uh, but you know, Ray Ray is a natural. You know, he's just gifted. Uh, I mean, he he's just a natural uh, with the ball in his hands. Uh, you know, he 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 made some plays at receiver too. You know, he got the pass interference. Thought he got behind him a couple times. Almost had the touchdown. I think he might have touched it. But um, he just gives us a, a swag and a confidence at corner uh, because he's just very fluid there and um, he's tough.